Conrod Strait area at the moment, heading down towards the Caltex Chase. Now that very fast run out, we'll see if we can pick him up across the line and we'll give you a now. Of the that wasn't it. and just about underneath the Bridgestone Bridge. Well, this bloke will go very, very deep under brakes. He'll go right down to the nth degree under brakes. Then he buries the nose of the Commodore. Car 16 buries it right down into the ground. Gives it a boot coming in. The great sound of the Commodore as it crosses the line. And making it very, very nicely, gently, Bentley, thanks very much, into the braking area. Lines the thing up. Gives it a boot for the boot Now, as he... In the car that he'll be sharing with Rob Grabbit, very well turned out motor car, but um, possibly not running as well as it had yesterday. The time, as I said yesterday, was 2.15.3.2. Oh, well, my calculations, he's at 2.15 now. We'll get a time rather shortly. Very busy on the steering wheel. Can you the working overtime? Did he get came round in? They were aiming all the time for Bathurst. Hansford, he knows, he's certainly no stranger to Bathurst. He goes underneath but, uh, the advances that these incredibly efficient teams make with their cars each year. Well, into the braking area now is Hansford in the ANZ Sierra. This is the second of those two cars. Rather gently out of um, tyres up. This time we've had a race before the um, the two is top ten, so the uh, the cars should be on a very very clean circuit. Now, as back. But um, down into the braking area now comes Needs, it's in the ANZ car, this is the Eggenberger Sierra, very deep under brakes he goes, but very neat, he's, up. he's um, a very neat one driver, and uh, even stoops as low as running um, funny old Volkswagens in round Australia events, but he's into the braking area now, we might talk about those sort of things, Perkins gets up to later, on this in the now, he doesn't have far to go. Underneath the Bridgestone Bridge, he comes now, still giving this Commodore a heat. The boost still in the right foot. Onto the, uh, the brake pedal now. A bit of a flash from the uh, exhaust there as it's uh, burst from the hill. And uh, the Tui's have been with us now for three years. Um, the Tui's have been on the mountain since the mountain was here, but here comes 05. On to pit straight. Slow moving uh, river after Mr Macquarie, did they not? Yeah, I'm not too sure it was slow moving a few months ago. Into the braking area comes Brock. He goes terribly deep here at the bottom at um, Murray's Corner. Picks up that front wheel. Gives it a boot for a second. Then he gives it off the noise. Stop 13 9 4 to keep Klaus Needsvitz behind him. So he'll he'll certainly have to get his um, his cork out in the Benson and Hedges. Sorry, wash your mouth out. Well, Peter Jackson. Yeah. Oh, gives it a boot for Fires it up under the front. Well, I don't have to this time because this is his hot lap. And down into the braking area. Under the bridge word this time as he goes on to fifth straight. Now he kept the thing on the black stuff, kept the boot right into it, goes down into the braking area now. Very neat, just picked up that front wheel. Up under the um, two-inch bridge. Take it up and gets into Cal to Caltex chase. I have to be very careful what I say sitting here at the Castrol Tower as he comes into your side. Yes, into the braking area now, in car 20, Alan Jones, former world champion. Now, um, or alternatively, he has a, uh, a deflating tyre. And in fact, he's going slower and slower now than he was before. Or John Cummins broken the gear lever off. We can't see you from here, but you're obviously down in Long Pit Row somewhere, and quite likely near the Benson and Hedges area. And uh, with a bit of luck, we'll see if we can find out what has gone right of the... Uh, Caltex chase now and under the Bridgestone Bridge. Slowly under brakes. And down through the gears, getting the thing lined up in the right gear. On the pit now. Now, as it one of the suspension struts, as it now buries itself under brakes down here at the bottom of um, Conrad Strait into uh, Murray's corner, he goes. Cocks up the back wheel, gets it a bit. And um, under brakes, uh, I don't know whether the front wheel was moving around or it was just locking it up, but it's wasn't quite as happy as some of the other cars we've seen, some of the other Sierras under brakes. Well, provisionally, the top ten will be Neitzvitz on pole. Next to him will be Dick Johnson. Um, on the second row, position three, will be Peter Brock. And next to him will be Glenn Seaton. The crowd um, very deep along the fence here. And they're going to see a great start for this um, 2 one 1000 of 1990.
Um, probably just a shade over time, but um, that's the 2 one thousand of 1990. Pole position though, the ANZ car, the White Sierra, the Crowd Neeson. Next to him is Nick Johnson, there's the last of the coming from the side of the mobile car. I had um, Rocky winds it up five seconds, thanks very much over the road. There's um, a bit of a traffic jam back here behind the building. Um, John Callahan, uh, the guy the Thank you. 